Uh, the thing that influenced me the most to open my own exotic pet store really was um, there's not many about and there's so many different animals that you can keep. Um, you know, wallabies, meerkats, you know, all stuff like that. There's, you know, you go into pet shops and you see a lot of shops that sell guinea pigs, hamsters. You know, I just wanted it to be a little bit different, so that's one of the main reasons that we, uh, that we decided to do it. Um, I love of exotic animals um, that originated from um, keeping them when I was young um, and watching documentaries and stuff like that. I think they're fascinating. The conservation projects really that we do is things like meerkats, raccoons. You know, we like to breed them and then we supply um, you know animal sanctuaries. Um, it's just good. You know, it's, it's good to see. You know, in captivity, we've got uh, ringtail lemurs upstairs as well, which you know would be really good to breed. But it is less than two thousand of them, I think, last count. In, you know, in the in the wild, because people are hunting them for bush meat and stuff like that. So to, to do something like that would be wicked. store at the minute god we've got um you know the, the lower stuff things like you know bearded dragons chameleons uh, different snakes uh, but then you start going to more exotic stuff then we've got uh, raccoons you know crocodiles we have lemurs skunks uh, we've just got foxes in as well now um, so there's a, there's a lot there's a, quite a you know wide range of stuff that we do at the minute well, this is a, a baby raccoon uh, from america obviously i think everybody knows what a raccoon is I think it's quite hungry as well at the minute you can see it's kind of trying to suck my finger uh, but this this little baby raccoon is, uh, has been bred at our shop with uh, Sid and Simone the adults uh, in the back of the shop we had four and um, again a couple of them, a couple of them have gone uh, to a sanctuary now where they're going to bottle feed them and hand raid them themselves um, and this is the last female uh, she's just just opened her eyes yesterday but they're still quite quite closed somewhere where you charge, similar to Walton Gardens, a million times better, we're going to have foxes there, we'll have, you know, meerkats, we'll have uh, animals called bin binturongs there, we'll have skunks, you know, we'll have a, a massive, massive range of animals, um, but we're currently starting that at the moment, we're just uh, doing barns and stables at the minute, and um, that should be opening this time next year, in 2014, so that'll be pretty good, we've got 12 acres of land, uh, we're going to be opening the first six acres, which has got a pond on it. You know, we'll have birds of prey there. We've got lots. That's going to be kind of taking me away from the shop to, to focus on that really. We do a lot of a lot of different weird and wonderful stuff. We've got venomous snakes. 